once again welcome back to Saved engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i would like to guide you for steel estimation for plane beam construction if you want to build your house and you don't know that how to find the quantity of steel and plane beam construction so watch this video till the end to know about steel calculation for house construction let's get started guys as you can see guys this is a diagram for plane beam this is guys plinth beam okay so i am finding the steel calculation size of this plinth beam is guys you can see this is short wall which is here 12 feet and this one is long wall which is 14 feet okay so the size is 14 feet by 12 feet so guys you can see this is short wall look here from here to here this is short wall and this one is guys long wall okay now first of all i will find the total length of plinth beam for this bedroom suppose this is bedroom okay so first of all total length of plinth beam okay plinth beam so now guys you can see clearly we have long wall and short wall okay so short wall we have 12 multiplied to plus long wall 14 multiplied to that's why because 14 we have two walls and 12 we have two walls so 12 multiplied by 2 plus 14 multiplied by 2 when you get its total length guys you can see 12 multiply 2 it becomes 24 plus 14 plus multiply 2 it become 28 okay so now guys when you get its total length so the total length of this plinth beam is here guys you can see this is 28 and this one is guys you can see clearly 24 it become 52 feet the total length is 52 feet okay so now let me guide you for its section size of this plinth beam suppose the size of the plinth beam is here 9 inches by 12 inches this is size of plinth beam now we are using here five numbers of steel rods three at the bottom two at the top guys you can see we have total five numbers and the dia is 12 millimeter die of steel rod this is very important to know about this point okay now guys i need to find the total length of steel rod as you can see guys total numbers we have five numbers three at the top three at the two at the uh, two at the top three at the bottom the dia is 12 millimeter so therefore guys the length of this our parameter of this plinth beam is 52 feet okay so it means total the second one is total length of steel for plinth beam okay so therefore guys 52 is the total length each steel rod each bar is uh, so each bar is 52 feet okay the total length parameter is 52 so it means the total length of one steel rod is 52 feet multiply five numbers guys we have five numbers when you do its calculation so you will get the value here uh, multiply five guys you can see so it becomes 260 feet the total length of steel is 260 feet guys you can see so when you get this video 260 feet so now i need to find the the third one total weight of steel required for plinth beam okay guys here first of all i need to find the uh, weight of steel for per feet okay so therefore guys here you can use the formula this is note okay 
not you can see so use the formula d square divided by 162 is equal 12 multiply 12 to find the unit weight of steel divided by 162 you will get the value 0 0.88 kg per meter this is per meter weight of steel for 12 millimeter you can use this formula in many video i have already discussed how to find the uh, total weight of steel or weight of steel for per meter k in kg per meter so therefore guys here when you do its calculation so now i need to find the uh, weight of steel in feet this is in kg per meter so therefore 0 0.88 kg divided by 0 uh, divided by 3.2 you can get for per kg for for, for p fit okay so therefore let me do its calculation now okay guys so let me do its calculation so here guys 0 0.88 divided by 3.28 because i am converting it to fit okay fit so therefore you will get the value 0 0.26 kg per feet so therefore guys 0 0.26 kg per feet so per feet the required weight is 0 0.26 kgs so therefore for 260 okay so for 260 so 260 feet multiply 0 0.26 now multiply with 200 60 so we required 69.75 kg steel this is only for longitude bars okay for five bars so the dia is 12 millimeters so now if you need to find for the lateral ties so how you can find the lateral ties so the total length as you can see which is 52 feet so for 52 feet divide by spacing of stirrups okay you will get the total numbers of stirrups then you can find the uh, what should be the diameter of the stirrup for example 8 millimeter so find the 8 millimeter uh, total weight 8 millimeter multiply 8 millimeter because this is d square divided by 162 you will get the weight of steel for 8 millimeter steel bar then how much numbers you have so you will find the cutting length for the uh, for that i have already discussed in many videos the link is in the description of this video so that is the easy way to find the steel calculation thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye